Okay, folks, one another uh, video lesson here for you guys to kind of help you guys out as you guys get prepared for your test uh, that is coming up over ancient Egypt. And our next topic is going to be about Egyptian writing, and that is in the form of hieroglyphics. And as you guys can see from the picture here on the slide that I have here, that the hieroglyphics were definitely a picture-shaped writing um, or a pictograph in which there were well over uh, 700 characters in this writing. Um, and very, very hard to decipher to help give us a little bit more of a background on what was going, life was like in ancient Egypt. So um, one of those things to kind of pay attention to with this is that, uh, like I said, it's a, there's a lot of symbols in it. Um, the thing about the symbols were is the fact that um, uh, when you were, people were writing it, they could write it in many different directions, whether it be up and down, bottom to top, right to left, left to right, so on and so forth. Um, it was definitely um, a very unique form of picture-shaped writing. Um, we didn't know a whole lot about it for a long, long period of time until we, they discovered uh, this object right here, which is the uh, Rosetta Stone. And the uh, Rosetta Stone is, was discovered um, by the French military uh, when they were in Egypt and was brought back to... Um, France, and then eventually it was determined that um, this would be one of the keys to help to uh, decipher what ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics are. I don't know if you guys can definitely tell, but you can see that there are three, let me change the color of that, hold on one second, there are three distinct areas on the Rosetta Stone. The top, which went right here, was written in Egyptian hieroglyphics. The middle was written in an Egyptian cursive writing, and the bottom was written in ancient Greek. Um, we knew how to read ancient Greek, and then one of the people figured out that they basically the passage was saying the exact same thing three different ways, so different groups of people as they were coming into ancient Egypt during this time frame would know what's going on here. So basically what it was is they discovered that if you <coughs> that you could take away and figure out um, what the words comparing it to what the ancient Greek writing that we had uh, known about at that point in time, uh, and kind of gave us the background and broke the key to us figuring out what Egyptian writing was all about. So this is the Rosetta Stone. It was kind of the key to that whole thing, and that's where you kind of get the whole Rosetta Stone thing um, that you guys see on TV that's a language that helps you break the code uh, to reading like, different languages, stuff like that. It's the exact same thought process here, but this Rosetta Stone helped us to break the code of hieroglyphics and help us give us a lot more information about the past of, of the ancient Egyptians um, and such. So that is uh, Egyptian writing. Once again, please make sure that you guys are answering the questions that go along with this, and um, I will talk to you guys all soon. All right.